Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are moving out of the car video and we're gonna do it in the apartment today uh, for many different reasons. But nonetheless, I'm glad you're here. Thank you again for uh, your support and joining me on the channel. So today we're gonna talk about if and are you really ready for the success and the blessings that you've been asking for and working towards to come into your life? Are you really ready? Initially, even when I ask that, you're probably like, yeah, of course I'm ready. I'm ready to get rich. I'm ready to have this business. I'm ready to fall in love and find my partner and all these things. And there's a part of you that already is ready. There's a part of you that is ready, but that part of you that's ready is your ego. And the part of you that's ready, that's your ego, is the wanting part of it, is the desire part of it. So it's funny, I didn't write any notes for this video and I initially, this came up and I wanted to talk about you being ready as understanding what comes along with that. And we're going to talk about that too, but now I'm sitting here and something that popped in my head is to immediately talk about the law of detachment and how our ego, by us wanting something, money, nicer car, house, a uh, beautiful wife or husband or girlfriend, whatever you want, right? That part of you by wanting is saying, I don't have, so therefore I want. But if you're in that energy of I want, it means you're in that energy of I want it because I don't have. If you're in an energy of I don't have, and you are because that's why you want this thing, well, that's what you're attracting. You're attracting more of I want because I don't have. So you're going to continue to repeat the cycle of I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. And that's why I want. So the law of detachment, I didn't write anything down. Maybe I should have, but I just felt like I wanted to get on and talk today. And I'm going to look up the law of detachment. And I guess that's the beauty of uh, being on my camera and not my phone is I can actually uh, look up um, the law of detachment. So let's do this one. So the law of detachment, not on that website. Yeah, I apologize guys. I mean, you know me, I'm usually in a good flow here. <clears throat> I'm just going to read some of this stuff from this uh, law. Okay. So the sixth spiritual law of success, the law of detachment says that the way to acquire anything in the universe is to relinquish our attachment to it. This doesn't mean we give up the intention to create our desire. We don't give up the intention and we don't give up the desire. We give up our attachment to the outcome. The moment we combine one pointed intention with detachment to the outcome, we will have that which we desire. And so this is also what you may have heard or know as the backwards law, right? <clears throat> Look at it like this. The backwards law succinctly is, you know, if you're a guy out there, right? And, uh, you know, you really want a, a girlfriend and you're like, you know, chasing girls, and you're like hitting them up and you're doing all this stuff. That wanting energy is sitting there of like, you know, I want, I want, I need, I need. Dude, that's so repellent to girls. They're like, get the hell out of here, man. What the hell? This guy's creepy as hell. But then that moment when you really don't care and you're just doing your thing and you're relaxing, you're like getting all these looks from girls. So that's the backwards law. When you didn't want it, it was coming, but when you wanted it, it wasn't there. So as it pertains to what we're talking about today, about having and are you being ready for your success, understand first that <clears throat> in order to really attract the success you're asking for, this end result, it's about detachment first. Understanding that you've got to be in a place where your intention and your desires are clear and you're not giving up the intention to create that outcome that you want. However, being okay if it doesn't happen the way you initially planned it out in your head, that's fine too. Excuse me. So that's the first thing I'll say, or that's what came up as I begin to speak to you guys today. But what I really wanted to talk about today, as far as being ready, I swear every time right now I'm at home, you can probably hear my little dog. He's got his ball. He wants to play. Manny, we'll do it after. Come here. You want to say hi to YouTube? Come here. Come here. So um, we'll do it after. Okay. This is my doggy, Manny. You got a little Frenchie boy. Say hi to the YouTube. So hold on one sec, bud. Let me finish this video on my thought. 
So, uh, so yeah, if you're always wondering what those grunting noises are and stuff in my, when I have him in my car, yeah, that's Manny. And then right now he's got his little ball and he's like sitting there like, what are you doing? Like, why aren't we playing? I digress guys. Apologize for the distraction. So about being ready for <clears throat> success. Here's what I'm learning in my current situation that may resonate with you and why, or is what the impetus of this video is. When you are blessed, when you're asking for a greater life, when you're asking for more money, a uh, more fulfilling career, the partner of your dreams, there you're being upgraded. But the part that I'm asking if you're ready for is if you're willing to change, if you're ready for the change, the uncomfortable growth period that you will have to go through in order to fully align with this upgraded life that you're going to have. You're gonna have a mega million dollar business if that's what you want. Are you ready to be that man or woman that runs that mega million dollar business? How different is that person? How different is their life? Are you willing to step up and take on all the responsibility that comes with that? Are you? Come here, baby. You're just gonna hang out with me. Come on. I know you wanna play, but we're just gonna sit here for a second, okay? I just wanna need to finish this stuff. This is very important for us. So that's what I'm learning when you are ready, or why I'm asking you is if you're ready, is to remind you and pose the question to you, if you're really ready for the success in that, are you ready for the responsibility? Are you ready for the hard work? Are you ready for the transformation? Are you ready to let go of friends? Are you ready to let go of family? Are you willing and ready to let go of the old version of you that used to live that life? Because what you want and you can have it, and it's on the way to you, requires you to change. And most people do not like change, they're uncomfortable with it because it's fear of the unknown. That's how we're wired, or and we've also been programmed by society to think that change and fear of the unknown is bad, but it goes back to like caveman times, and I've talked, to this, talked about this example. The fear of the unknown is terrifying to most people, and that's what change is. You're changing, you have no idea what you're going into because it's gonna be different. You don't know because you haven't done it yet, it's new. This is the change you asked for. So the question to ask yourself is, yes, of course I want a million dollars, I'll figure it out later. Are you ready for the people who are gonna come for handouts? Are you ready to handle the taxes and the investments and stuff? Are you ready for all the hate that you're gonna get? Are you ready for all the gossip? Are you ready for X that's gonna come into your life? Are you ready for that? Are you ready to change? Are you really ready to transform? Are you really ready to upgrade? It's uncomfortable as a mother. I'm upgrading right now in a big way and it's amazing and it's funny how all these blessings are flowing into my life and I'm sitting here and I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm uncertain. I'm like, you know, I have the doubts creep in. Like I'm no different than you guys, you know? And that's what I hope none of you guys do when you watch these videos. Like I'm just a regular dude in my living room like hanging out with this dog. However, I've done a lot of work on myself and this is what I continue to do. A lot of time in self-reflection and books and reading and courses and um, spiritual teachers and all these things. So I do have, I'm, you know, I'm speaking from experience, right? So this change that you want, these blessings that you want, are you really ready for success? You're gonna have this business. What if it costs you your old best friend? I'm just being, I mean, who knows? You could, in the million years, you think they have your back, you build this business, you start blowing up and they start resenting you for it because you're triggering them. And you try to hold on, but just holding on creates more resentment. And now all of a sudden you've got this negative energy in your life for someone you used to really trust. Are you ready for something like that? Are you ready to blow up on social media? Okay. You're ready to have a million uh, followers on Instagram or whatever, a million subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, you're ready for that. Are you ready for all the hateful comments? Are you ready for all the people that call you rotten from the inside out and you're terrible and you're wrong and you're stupid and blah, 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 X, Y, Z, are you ready for that? So this is why I wanted to make this video to help you remember and look at it from this perspective that that good stuff is great and you can have it and it's coming into your life. But with that is going to come so many challenges because those challenges are meant to be there to help you grow into that person who can handle that level of success. Are you really ready to change? Are you really ready to grow and transform? Are you really ready to leave behind everything and everyone that you knew 
in order to become the person that you want to be and have and be and do everything that you want to be, do and have. And that's, that's extreme, right? You, you don't ha I'm saying you don't have to give up everything and everyone you've ever known. But I'm not gonna lie guys, to be honest, I'm going through this process right now and pretty much all my old friends, like I don't resonate with any of them. Like I don't have friends right now and I don't care because I'm so focused on what I'm doing. And I know that as I do this, I'm gonna meet the right people along the way. But right now I'm in a very intense period of work, of work in a lot of ways. So it's tiring. It's like, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. So you are ready for this. And here's the thing guys, you're ready for this and it's coming into your life and you are ready for the money. You're ready for the whatever, the status, the business, whatever it is you're after. You're ready for these things and you are ready for the change and you are ready to take on this responsibility and it's going to require work. But keep in mind that it's a process that it takes time also. You know, it's the old saying that uh, it took him 10 years to become an overnight success. That's what you're going through. Are you willing to be alone? Are you willing to walk the path alone? Because that's honestly what it takes. If you talk to or even listen to interviews, I mean, obviously just go on YouTube, right? You're already on it watching me. It's like type in, you know, interviews with like famous people and they talk about how they had to leave family members behind, uh, friend groups. They had to move to a different city, a different country. They had to live out of their car for six months. I mean, the stories go on and on. They're truly infinite and you have your own unique story. The other thing to keep in mind is maybe you've been working hard for these blessings and you're ready and you want all this good stuff and you've been doing all the right things, but it's still not happening. Well, maybe it's because you're not ready for the other part that I'm addressing right now that's gonna come with all of that success. Are you really ready to step up your level of responsibility, your level of cognition and mental functioning, your level of physical energy, changing your habits, your lifestyle, your et cetera, et cetera, the list goes on. A true transformation is a true transformation on all ends. You are coming out a different person. And most of the people that were with you in the beginning cannot come with you because they're not transforming into your vision because this is your vision. They're going their way. But again, remember guys, you're going to meet the right people along the way. You're going to have these synchronicities come in because when you're pursu pursuing and creating what's really important to you, all the universe conspires to come to your aid. What's the saying? Uh, gosh, what's, what's that quote? Um, be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. That's going to kill me if I don't look up who wrote that. Um, cause I, I know it be bold. Okay. So we're not going to, I like doing it on this. Oh, Basil King. So it's, uh, that quote is from Basil King and it's from a, a, a wonderful book. So be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid. Um, so funny. I gotta make sure even at home we write down notes, right? So I just, so I can be more precise and succinct for you guys. However, or I don't know, maybe it's entertaining and more authentic and human if I'm just, just ripping off the cuff, man. I don't know. Cause I get these ideas. Cause it's kind of what happens when I do videos anyways, when I write them down, I'm very clear on my messages and some points I want to hit when I'm journaling. Right. But then when I get going, there's downloads and things that are coming that are like, you know, Oh, you know, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I should talk about that. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. We need to go into this. Right. I'm kind of like, it's not me, right. It's, it's, uh, the universe coming through me. So to wrap things up, guys, are you ready for success? This would be a great question to ask yourself and journal about. Am I ready for success? Yes. Well, what's the part of success that I'm ready for? What's the part of success that I'm not ready for? If you address that part of success that you're not ready for and you start to work on that and understand why and heal that issue, reprogram in your mind, the belief system around that, watch what happens. I guarantee that success is going to rush into your life. That's what's happening right now, guys. And I'm again, it's scary as hell. It's intimidating. I'm about to step up. I'm like stepping up in a big way. Like this is my manifestation. I'm being blessed. I'm in the middle of it and I'm so grateful, but it's scary as a mother. Like I'm like, you know, I had the doubts come in. I'm constantly like Pierce, you asked for this. You can do this. You know who you are. The universe, God only gives you what you're ready for. So clearly you're being blessed because you're finally ready for this. And the only way that I will get comfortable with it, what's the way we get confident and comfortable doing anything by doing the thing, by doing the thing and looking stupid at it in the beginning. That's how we get better at anything. And it's always uncomfortable in the beginning because who wants to be bad or suck or look stupid in front of other people? Nobody until you heal that stuff. Then you don't really care. Then you're just on your mission. 
But even when it starts to happen like that, when you're on your mission, it doesn't matter that you're still going to have to remember that there are different parts of this equation that are coming into life, that are coming into your experience, that are here to change you, that are here to shape you and mold you. And it's going to be difficult. It's supposed to be. This is the challenge that you asked for. And by overcoming the challenge of becoming a different person, this is you being blessed with the manifestations that you've been working so hard to create. This is you having the physical appearance of what you've been doing on the inside come to fruition. That's what's happening. I did look up a quote. So the quote I leave you with today is by uh, Benjamin Disraeli. Oh my God, I thought it was Benjamin Franklin in the beginning, that's so funny. The quote is, one secret of success in life is for a man to be ready for his opportunity when it comes. So that's a pretty basic one. It's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. And that's Les Brown. So think about that, guys. Reflect on it. Am I ready for success? What parts of success am I not ready for? What, what's going to come with this success that I didn't Oh, the haters. Crap, I didn't think about the haters. Oh, crap. Am I going to be ready? Okay, when the haters, my uncle? Am I going to be ready for when my like two sisters turn against me and they're jealous? Am I going to be ready for that hate? Because that's the stuff you've got to wrap your head around. That's what happens. When you start to upgrade, when you start to go upward, it triggers the people who are not working on themselves and not going upward. You're making them feel uncomfortable. You're triggering it because you're in your divinity. You're inspired and you're elevating and they're not. So it's a reminder. So that's what I got for you today, guys. Please reflect on it. Meditate on it. Let me know uh, if you have any questions or want to talk about anything. Um, man, I just, yeah, I'm so grateful for you. I'm grateful for everything, man. My life is so good and I've worked hard to make it this way and it's getting better. And so is yours. And this is your confirmation. How do I know that? Because you're watching me and it's the law of resonance, the law of vibration. We're in alignment. That's why you're watching me. It's energy. It's, it's attraction. So these things are happening for you. Are you willing to do the work on yourself though? Are you willing to look stupid? Are you willing to lose friends and family? Are you willing to be poor or broke or go through hardship for a while in order to create this? Because man, one of these days I'll have to sit down and I'll tell you my story and it is man, I'll have to definitely write so I'm just not like going all over the place because it's been wild. But now I've arrived to this point where all the work I've done on myself quite literally my entire life is paying off in a big way. And it took me a long time and a lot of hard work to understand the inner workings of my mind, the universe, my mistakes, all these things and course correct to the point where now I feel like I am, uh, I've used this example before too. That game Sonic the Hedgehog, right? The a uh, little hedgehog who runs like on the track and stuff or like any racing game and they got the three racing stripes on the ground and when you run over the three racing stripes it's like a speed boost right i feel like i'm on like a road that's just a never-ending speed boost right now it's, it's crazy and uh man i asked for this but holy shit when it's here you're like oh yeah all right i asked for this Whew, time to step up step up are you ready to step up are you ready to step up? That's what I got for you today, guys. I love you so much. I will see you soon for another video. Peace.